Good afternoon. I welcome you all to this new and engaging session of Engineering Watch Interactions. Today we have with us Mr. Chanda Kapoor, the Chairman of New Creative Neurons. I welcome you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Creative Neurons Private Limited was started six years back and uh, it has its niche in uh, Singapore as of now. It has a vision of becoming a synonym for digital marketing across the globe. Uh, would you like to s throw some light on the Creative Neurons, uh, you know, past as of now the inception of the company? Uh, Creative Neurons is an organization, as you mentioned, uh, based out of Singapore. We we started our operations with uh, offering few web applications, online services, online application services okay. to our clientele across the globe. We majorly cater to uh, clients in United States of America, in Canada, right. Australia, New Zealand, and Singapore itself. Mm. Uh, while the industry was going through various uh, changes, I would say industrial changes, especially the IT sector, uh, digital marketing was kind of uh, going through experimental stages. Somewhere around in mid of uh, 2000s, around 2006-2007, yes. a few more platforms like Facebook was introduced in 2004, yes, yes. Uh, though Google was introduced in 1998, yeah. uh, but somehow the growth chart if you look at even of Google or other digital platforms, Sign internet in. platforms, it started somewhere around that time only, mm -hmm. mid of 2000s. So, uh, since we were already offering our web application and website kind of services to our clients, so they requested us to help them to, you know, kind of help them in promoting their brands, establishing okay. brands on various digital platforms. Okay. And that's how the idea of uh, digital marketing poured in. Uh, in fact, that was the right time, I would say, that people had started experimenting, had started venturing, had started invested, uh, investing into not only the, the business part of it, but the education part of it too. Uh, on the contrary, on the other hand, India was uh, still kind of it at its embryonic mm -hmm. stage. I would rather say even even as of today, as now, well, yeah. not, not much of uh, the companies are, are well aware of digital marketing in terms of the, the kind of quality the kind of standards are maintained overseas. I agree. Though there are there are few entrepreneurs which uh, who who might have started you know e-com portals, digital marketing services, mm. but somehow industry is not that uh, uh, mature enough. I would say and there are venture capitalists overseas they, uh, who have been looking to put in their money to the right places. Mm -hmm. But India is still struggling. I I wouldn't be able to comment as of now. What is the reason? Okay. Uh, but anyhow, uh, the idea was that we should be able to offer our digital marketing services overseas. If if I would lo uh, like to put it across uh, as that I have been into outsourcing mm. for, for almost uh, 15 odd years. Okay. I outsourced a lot of uh, transcription processes to India in the past in, in late 90s. I outsourced BPU processes and KPU processes in the middle, oh. in the beginning of 2000s to India. Uh, there was time when close to 150 centers were reporting to me. I, I was kind of... That's a uh, huge number, I mean. It say. was, yes. Uh, close to 7,500 odd people used okay. to report to me, directly and indirectly. Uh, when I shifted to Singapore, I had been always wanting to, you know, do something on the similar lines. Uh, since IT was, uh, I would say, the lack of uh, the right knowledge, mm -hmm. the lack of the right talent was still slacking in India. Uh, I never wanted to venture into IT directly as outsourcing. Okay. okay. But uh, as I mentioned that I have been associated with digital marketing services in Singapore uh, for past six odd years now. I have been thinking of venturing something similar to maybe amalgamating outsourcing and digital marketing to in India. India. Okay. Now before coming to India we did uh, a decent quantum of research in terms of time. We spent close to one and a half years in, in running out, uh, carrying out our research. We went, we went to the organizations, we went to the institutes, we okay. went to the students, we went to corporates, we went to individuals, we went to entrepreneurs. We wanted to understand what is their so take you about. Have, you have a researched, uh, you know, sort yes. of conception of this idea. True, true, true. Okay. That's right. So, um, in fact, before uh, getting into the education part of it, we, we wanted to... Uh, venture or rather start our production over here, the mm -hmm. services what we offer through our Singapore office uh, to our clientele mm -hmm. across the globe. So we wanted to bring down the same thing here, again outsourcing mindset I would say. So I have been always looking at uh, maybe sharing the opportunities with yes. people who deserve and cutting down the cost. Mm -hmm. That's that's the, 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 main. the forefather idea of outsourcing yeah, yeah, I would say. Yes. Uh, we could not start our services, you know, we spent close to three months in that doing our research. 
but uh, eventually we found that the kind of manpower I would want to hire, rather the kind of services I would want to offer to my clients. It was lacking in India. Yes, uh, we interviewed close to 500 plus odd people um, who would claim that they are into digital marketing or they they have an idea what digital marketing is. But somehow, despite of uh, individuals having three years or four years of experience, they were lacking into the basic fundamental uh, concepts, conceptual knowledge of digital marketing. Okay. So that actually uh, set me back because uh, starting the production was the original idea. Mm. Uh, but uh, we had been offering kind of one month uh, rigorous trainings on to digital marketing in Singapore, but that was purely for entrepreneurs mm. or, or people who had been working into maybe marketing or digital segments across the globe. So that was kind of uh, eight hours to nine hours classroom trainings and okay. uh, then six hours uh, students need to go back and then work upon certain projects. Uh, so this idea was kind of, uh, the seed was kind of inducted there itself that if we want to get into India for yeah, education part, we, can, we already have access to the content being an organization and uh, uh, apart from being an organization I would say digital marketing is an industry which has which gets updates every every three months six yes, months yes. very too often mm -hmm. you know? for an example Facebook introduced its, its uh, image search engine into, mm -hmm. into its in its platform Google has close to four or five updates in past three four years correct now. So if I would want to project myself as an institute, I got to be very sure about the fact that my, my knowledge content has yes, to be updated regularly. Yes. Because I just cannot, uh, I would say, sell education. You you see, cannot. because uh, eventually this is an industry which is highly practically oriented, practically inclined industry, wherein students need to go and perform in their job. Hmm. Okay. Not as managers, even as entrepreneurs as well. So I had to be very sure about the fact that when I get into the shoes of offering education, mm. I got to be very content rich. My content has to be industry inclined, industry oriented. Mm -hmm. So keeping that in mind, we had to actually uh, go through very strenuous ex exercise activities wherein we went to the organization. We spoke to them uh, that if, what if I give you trained manpower, what would be the modules, what would be the knowledge you would want them to be trained upon? Okay. That was one. Okay. Second was, uh, now be it I am in India, I'm, I'm, I intend to offer education in digital marketing mm. to Indian youth. I would want them to be trained upon international standards. Yes, of course. Because industry has so much so to offer, which we cannot even imagine. Mm. Uh, today, in India, the, the, the worth of the business is close to 2000 crores. Mm. INR. I see business reaching up to close to more than 10,000 crores in, in coming three years. Oh so what if, if we are able to outsource that business to India? That was my first primary concern and primary question. Because see, there have been institutes that offer education and that is more or less job oriented, okay. employability, employability, employability oriented. But my concern was that not only jobs, you know, if I'm able to pull three clients and give it to one of my students, you, you get it? wherein that student can create opportunities for others. For well. others as well. Yeah. That has been kind of outsourcing mm -hmm. I've been always doing and I've been always talking about. So idea was let's get into it. Let's let's focus upon quality of content. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, then we how, how did we start uh, in India was that um, we, we start speaking to students. We generated few few leads and inquiries of, of interested students. So the first question everybody would ask was, uh, do you have jobs? So my question used to be that I am going to be an institute, right? So as an institute, I'll only offer education. And when it comes to education, I'll, I'll assure you that I'll give you the best of the education in terms of quality. Where is the question of job comes from? Where does it come from? But somehow during our study, we found that many institutes, rather I would say most of the institutes in India in past uh, close to a decade, the way they have been offering education is, is like they sell jobs. That is the biggest concern. Everybody says that if you spend half a million rupees with us, we'll get you a job of half a million rupees. You know, we conducted interviews of few few fresh graduates in the past, in, in India itself. Most of the students would rather demand for for a job uh, for for a salary okay. that I need for a package rather. I need half a million rupees a year. You know, All right. irrespective of whether they have knowledge or knowledge or not. Okay, so that was the first uh, you know sort of uh, concern of a student that you. 
that you yes. encountered yes okay. yes okay. because see uh, to me if i am getting into an education space education is going to be an investment investment you know be it I, uh, a student spends 12 grands with me 12000 rupees with me be it a student spends 6 lakh rupees with me i need to create an roi sheet for him that in how many years how many months would he be able to recover that yes you know unless until we do that calculation we will fail into our original model of this so that's how uh, we we wanted to put it across to the students that uh, we are talking about a better roi model rather than a better education model yeah right unless until they are not able to recover their money and of course the the precious time they invest with us then there's no point of uh, you know getting into the space that's how the idea came into the picture we did our research we met the students and we then formulated the programs and hence we are here today and uh, we are keeping our fingers crossed we I have great plans it. ahead we we have uh, a good future lined up for the students who would want to get into the space yes. and not only with college of digital marketing creative neurons college of digital marketing i would want to say digital marketing is going to be one of the best industry in itself in coming years okay. would, which would be able to offer unlimited opportunities no it's not i i wouldn't say that uh, let students come to college of digital marketing and 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 acquire the knowledge i would say let them experiment let them venture let them experience what digital marketing is all about okay. so my vision is I want to. I I wouldn't say I want to create a bridge. Mm. Opportunities are already there. Bridge is already there. I am just going to do hand holding with the students. Okay, okay. So yours is a project which is thoroughly researched, and you have yes, you actually is. reached out to student to bring out the default points as such, if I may say. Okay. All right. So uh, I mean, I myself uh, would. as a random person i myself if go out in the industry and see i see that there is a humongous gap between the demand and supply of the professionals in the digital marketing sector how do you think uh, you know see uh, your company would be able to bridge that gap and help the indian economy uh see i would be too small to say that i'm i'm here to help the indian economy no but you can obviously contribute your share that's what i always say that we need to do our bit we need to do our part rest we leave to the lord uh see the point here is as as you correctly mentioned the gap of demand and supply if we see 25 years back mm. uh, or maybe 30 40 years back the demand of engineering and management graduates was as way high as compared to the supply so somehow the number of institutes the number of fresh graduates passing out in both engineering and management increased rapidly in past past few years you know but in comparison with the number of graduates available the jobs were not there but somehow i i, I feel i personally feel that jobs are still there jobs are still there for management and engineering graduates but the quality of content being taught to these people is not up to the mark what industry expects you know so jobs will always be there you go to any any online portal you go to news because you yes. still find you know fresh management graduates are yes, required yes. fresh engineer engineering graduates are required but the the gap is not of the availability of of demand and the supply of the students the gap is of the quality of quality content of being taught to these people correct being shared yes, with these students yes. today as 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 a business owner as as a ceo of a company i would want that if i'm going to pay half a million rupees to somebody he should be able to bring business of close to 5 million to yeah, you the want results at the end of the day true directly or indirectly hmm. uh, but somehow the industry has felt even if you look at uh, the 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 term what we say brain brain you know hmm. the best iitians and iims yes, passed out yes. of indian of indian institutes oh, they go abroad yes you know so do we say that there are no, not enough of jobs for these people no. or do we say the quality of uh, jobs being offered jobs experience to, is not being offered yes. to these people i really do not know what is the reason behind all this maybe few policies need to be refurbished few policies need to be formed you hmm. know to help this uh, stop this brain drain any anyways my my uh, concern is so far around and in digital marketing area the biggest gap if i would uh, like to sum it is the word itself digital marketing yeah. it is an alien word for indian, indian students today correct they might understand online marketing or internet marketing for that matter but when we say digital marketing they say oh are you talking about seo are you talking about facebook marketing what are you going to teach us in facebook marketing we all do facebook yeah. you know so anyways this i would say is is um, is a confidence builder for me because if i talk about 30 years back when it trainings came to india um, we we used to work upon 86 computer then 286 came then 386 came 
so Kapoor, Pascal, and DOS uh, command was kind That's of aliens. aliens. Yeah, aliens for us. I I did my Kapoor in I think uh, in my first year of graduation. When I passed out my twelfth, uh, C plus plus came in. Uh, I mean, when I passed out my graduation, okay. C plus plus came in twelfth curriculum. Oh. So that's an irony. The curriculum in in, in our educational system changes after ten years. Ten you know? years, correct. So digital marketing being an industry oriented subject, uh, it gets updated every now and then. Mm -hmm. You know, I cannot offer a, a subject which is already stale to my students. That's the demand of the hour, you know. Right, right. So, um, so the gap when I say the gap starts from the from the beginning itself. We need to tell students what digital marketing is. It is not only in internet marketing, you know. So that is one. Second is uh, there are various e-com portals and agencies. I'll rather share uh, a data with you. If you look at uh, the shopping online shopping experience or data in India, it wasn't beyond two percent or three percent few years back. But ever since cash and delivery concept has introduced, yes, it has shot up to seven to eight yeah. percent, which is which is good. Uh, I would say data for us, which is confidence builder for us, that Indians are trying to understand what it is. Uh, you see a lot of ads being being thrown on the television these days. So idea is that uh, we are talking about a business opportunity. We are talking about a work opportunity wherein anybody, a plain graduate, can come and join us. You know, we are not talk talking about specific uh, technical skill sets. You know, which need to be to to acquire the knowledge in traditional marketing area. So when I talk about helping economy, when I talk about helping unemployment to be, uh, you know, kind of eradicated from India, digital marketing is going to be one of the the prime industries in coming coming years, wherein anybody who understands internet platforms, who understands digital platforms, who understand or who has got that instinct, you know, what extra can I do? Okay. You know, okay. Because see, digital marketing is a platform which can help businesses across all the sectors, across the globe, to to cut down their major costs. You know, because cost is a concern these days. Gone are the days when we would say that uh, the thumb rule of marketing is not spend more than ten percent into brand building of a brand, but today it goes up to sixty to seventy percent. Right. So giving an ad in the newspaper, giving an ad in the television, giving an ad on ad. the radio, and uh, it is shot up like anything. As a small time business owner, to me it is next to impossible that I can reach my audience, reach my, my customer through these mediums. All these mediums right. Today. So today everybody you I whosoever is, is going to see this program or going to understand this this knowledge sharing platform is on, on those platforms. Mm. Last year the internet uh, usage of uh, in, in India was close to seventy nine million. This year it was 179 million. Okay. You okay. can see the growth. Oh my you know? God. Okay. Yeah. You know? So, so to me, I mean, it is it is very encouraging. Yeah. That people are wanting to understand. Hmm. And there have been certain areas. I would say Google has come up with this Google ballooning concept, wherein I would say there are going to be areas in India which would not have electricity, but would have internet connection. How is that possible? So Google has done those. Uh, okay. If you if you Google up Google ballooning, you'll get to know okay. that. So idea is, I mean, the platform is ready. The platform is being supported. The platform is being experimented for people like I would say youth in India. Hmm. Today, for an example, I would say the industries of 2,000 crores it can go up to 10,000 crores or even more because we can help today's youth to fetch business from overseas. Yes. The best part about digital marketing is it offers you a platform. Wherein you need not to step out of your home. Hmm. All you need is a maybe a, a device, say a tablet or maybe a laptop or a computer, to connect you to the and app. broadband. Period. Yes, yes, you of know, course. You can you can help the forget about I helping Indian economy. The people passing That's out of sales. college digital marketing yes. are going to help economy as one team, you know, one large team. So I think it is it is going to be a revolutionizing experience, revolutionizing change, which I'm really desperate okay, or, or excited to experience. To be a part of. Yes. All right. That's all right. So uh, I mean, when I went through the company profile, I came across that you offer uh, courses that vary from one month to two years. I mean, being in a being a media professional, how is a one month course? You know, I mean, I'm just asking you as a layman, that how is a course of one month going to be beneficial for a person? See, when uh, if if I compare the kind of uh, program we offer in Singapore. Offering similar kind of program to Indian students was difficult. Uh, we did a test marketing kind of thing. 
we we ran a batch of close to 10 to 15 students mm -hmm. we picked up people from various uh, walks of the society so when uh, because digital marketing being a relatively a new subject it has a lot to learn it has lot new things to be shared so students would say after one one and a half hours can we have a break of 15 minutes or something you know okay so so when we few would say i cannot come tomorrow to attend the class here yeah. so we had to design the product as per the demand of and and need of the market so we wanted and since we have a lot of content to share it cannot be completed in one month for sure hmm. so we designed our program in a way that we'll offer only two hour sessions one but then there were few people who now wanted to go for long term programs so we had to cater to those people as well, those those uh, individuals as well. So one month and three months programs were designed for people who want to understand. It's just who, the introduction. Correct. Okay. Who, who wa would want to have the feeler, the first hand feeler of what digital marketing is, or what okay. college of digital marketing is all about. Okay. You know. Okay. So we never wanted to lose those people as well because they are the ones who are going to have that platform knowledge, mm. the basic platform knowledge in one month and three months program. Today, if you if you speak to a teenager. Mm he would be a little reluctant to go for a two year program you know or one year long program yes. he would say i would like to understand what yes. is this marketing all yes. about do you have a short term program you know? so then we had to kind okay. of design okay. to fill way. up their needs you to, had this to, one month introduction program let's to, just so say so one month and three months are the programs which are going to be kind of uh, the feelers in the market that what digital marketing is all about and what creative neurons college of digital marketing is, is there to offer to okay. students i mean uh, i just wanted to ask what differences did you see in the demands of the you know students indian students and the ones in singapore what were the major uh, say let's just say differentiating points in their dem uh, in their demands see the the biggest uh, and the foremost was uh, if if i conduct a program in singapore hmm. students do not ask for the job they say fine we want to understand okay. we want rich knowledge we want world standard content and we want we don't want to know the learning outcome we'll explore it oh okay but in india uh, learning outcome nobody wants to bother for which is huge difference students in india would want to know what after this you know see i mean there is a negative or rather advantage and disadvantage of both the thought processes a student asking you today what after this hmm. is a good question he is interested to know what is ROI and that is that is what my my uh, submission is but on the other hand student asking is there a job after this which is not good not good correct you know because students and parents today need to understand that we also see i i remember i i passed out in my my during my delhi university graduation in in 1997 Uh, my fee was not more than 795 rupees a year oh my god okay <laughs> i'm not that old don't worry <laughs> but today i mean post uh, the revolution of education you you call it in, in india the average fee a student pays for a graduate or a post graduate program is close to half a million or 600000 yes. bucks yes. which is, is too much yes for a student for parents it is a primary concern that if i'm going to spend, going to spend a million of rupees today what, what are the returns correct okay. right but that return in a way people ask in terms of job what is a package people do not ask for what is going to be my career hmm. over there in singapore or even uh, we we do conduct classes through online platform as well i wouldn't say that we we get students we get people with the mindset who understand they do their research from backward way you know this is the learning outcome mm. and this is the education i need to acquire oh all right right so 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 um, i would say yes that is that is one of the basic difference what students expect in india and what students expect overseas one is that and second is uh, i think somehow that that gap that bridge needs to be built needs to be covered that after doing any graduation after mm. doing any education mm. they need to learn what is going to be there after 5 years what is be going to be there after 10 years it is not that immediate i have spent 6000 bucks i am a fresh you graduate i need half a million rupees yes, package you know yes it cannot happen true so even even we also started our career like that so one needs to understand and i think somehow uh, the education system the expectation management needs to be done mm. I won't say I'm here to do that, but I'm here to share the opportunities which are yes. already there. Why to talk about job? I mean, today if somebody comes and joins us and does maybe a three-month or a one-year program, he can look at a salary of maybe twelve thousand or fifteen thousand rupees a month. 
but there are so much of opportunities that if he or she sets up an online e-com or online platform or, or online digital marketing services platform one can earn more than a million rupees a month you know so we somehow ignore or overlook those opportunities which are hidden hidden correct you know we don't know about them we are not acquainted right, right that's right, the basic right. thing so so my 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 first uh, objective is that i should be able to run the rule students with the opportunities which are available hmm. one and should be able to impart the knowledge what is required by the industry and, and those opportunities okay okay so that was i mean <laughs> that was a very 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 huge thing i mean i got to know about, a lot about from that um could you just uh, you know just uh, provide me with this uh, are there only only classroom trainings in your institutes or do you also offer you know distance learning programs for the students who cannot come and attend the classes see uh, uh, as I, as i said earlier also, also that uh, before launching this or before introducing this brand to india <laughs> we did our test marketing yes. close to one and a half to two years we spoke to students our earlier idea was to offer education only through online platform but somehow i find that indians the, the young generation of india is yet not ready for that online platform okay because digital marketing is a subject which cannot be taught through books for sure when i say for an example google is going to introduce a new update in next 3 months so i'll have to again go for that reprinting thing yes you know i'll be getting into the logistics, logistics issues correct a student receives a book after 15 days there's another update you know mm. you're getting a point so yes unlike the the traditional education system which has been followed in past mm. few years digital marketing is not a subject which can be taught like that so we definitely wanted to go for kind of online classrooms where in a teacher is available in, a, in on one point of contact and there will be students which are uh, uh, going to be on various uh, nodes but somehow because of the lack of basic infrastructure requirements like i said broadband and computers and knowledge of computers and stuff like that because we received inquiries from all across all all the corners of the, of, of the country i cannot even pronounce the names correctly i received inquiries from so it was very difficult to because if i say there is a demand of close to 300000 people today if i am able to maybe uh, train 300 students it does not suffice my purpose mm. so if i say there is a demand of 300000 people i should be able to train at least 50000 people Correct. in one year right so teaching training making them ready close to 50000 numbers is difficult through Huge such a platform process. so we wanted to first have a kind of penetration across the country we wanted to have centers nodes uh, normal tier b tier c cities in, in all the states of the country that is one objective mm -hmm. second was that we need to as i said i mean on, on the similar lines that one month and then three months are the programs to get students a feeler of the for of what we have, are oh, here to offer yeah. similarly we want to have classroom sessions first mm. right so that there will be buzz in, in the in, in the circle the students would say yes there is something which we can go and study because we indians have a mindset that we need a physical faculty standing there mm. you know and we can raise our hands and ask, ask a question, question yes. and we are little reluctant on online platforms mm. even if it is a live uh, interaction class so uh, that was one concern but anyways uh, having said so we have our online platform in place okay. where students can would have a dedicated unique login id even if somebody does not want to go to our classrooms he or she can access generate an id that's right, right and access the whole of the content online oh, that's good the best part about uploading a content online is it is live content hmm. when i say live that if i have an update tomorrow i can upload it yes you know yes. at at a real time i would say Yep. it does not i need not to wait for the books to be printed well, yeah, or series yeah. to be burned yeah, and correct. then sent across correct so online platform has its definitely advantages, advantages. so uh, and with with the uh, i would say indian indian government is getting little aggressive on the front of infrastructure development on online and broadband hmm. platforms so i'm i'm really excited that it is going to go places okay okay yeah. so what we got to know is that you know as and when you get to know a technology it becomes obsolete the next day I mean, uh, could you just uh, tell us something that you've uh, recently opened up a center in Shimla? Could you That's just right. you know tell us something about it? Uh, we have one uh, center in Shimla, which is uh, go, which has already started accepting admissions, and uh, by first week of October, the classes would be run there as well. Uh, 
as well as the data and information I've received, we have already enrolled close to 15 students there. Uh, when I talk about a place like Shimla, my my primary concern was that reaching the students into metro cities is much easier than reaching the students uh, into small. TRB and TRC yeah. cities. Recently, there was a when I said that we did our research and survey, the HPTDC, the government wing of uh, Himachal Pradesh Tourism mm -hmm. Development, they had uh, released a public issue. I mean, public release recently that um, they intend to spend hundred. 250 crore rupees for their uh, promotion of tourism via digital platforms. Okay. So this is very exciting. I wouldn't say I wanted to engage those opportunities. Hmm. I wanted to share those existing opportunities with people with out students there. and people right? there. So Shimla was uh, one of that was one of the reasons we wanted to start Shimla Center first. Okay. Second was uh, uh, when I went there, I met a lot of people there. People from TRB and TRC cities, they do not prefer to come down to metro cities to work. Okay. Right. Now, having said so, the digital platform, again, as I, as I submitted above, that digital platform, digital marketing is an opportunity, is a platform which anybody can exploit, access. can use, can access mm. to share the opportunities across the globe. Correct. Right. So, when I, I, I got to, I learned about this uh, upcoming update that government wants to spend 100 to 150 crore rupees. So, irrespective of what knowledge I share, hmm. irrespective of what platform I'm talking about, it gives me tertiary advantage. One, I am sharing an updated platform with the students hmm. which the world is talking about. Two, the government itself, you know, is looking for such people. Okay, yes, right? yes, in a way. Let's say if I am able to train 3000 people in Himachal Pradesh in next say one year's time. Mm. So I am giving a job opportunity or to work those. opportunity to, to those 3000 people. Yes, yeah. In their hometowns. Mm. Plus, they'll be helping the state government to promote a business in which they want to explore. Yeah. You know? Right. So it brings revenue to the state. It brings job opportunity yeah. to the local people, and I'm sharing an opportunity with, apart from the government uh, wings. They can they can uh, serve to the world. So it satisfied, you know, it satisfies the Indian mentality of getting in a job at the hometown. I, I would say, uh, see, I always I always say, what is success? You know? Success is something wherein amalgamation of meeting the right people at the right time right. for the right opportunity. Correct. So I, I I think this is the right opportunity wherein government is looking for uh, such such um, support such mm -hmm. people. So if we can do it in one state, it is going to be a case study. And if government aggressively ventures into it, mm -hmm. experiments into it. I think we can we can create a parallel industry. We can do revolution across the country. Okay, I wish you you know good luck for that. Uh, you know, just uh, let's just wrap up. Tell us something about your future plans that you have. All right. Um, as I said, there there are close to hundred thousand plus jobs available on online platforms mm. for trained uh, digital marketing professionals. Now, when I say uh, online jobs are available or, or the data is available. If there are 100,000 jobs available on online, there are more than 100,000 plus jobs available through references, through offline medium as well. So if I say there are 200,000 people, demand of 200,000 people is currently in, in, their, in the market. Mm. Uh, we will not be able to cater to all of the jobs. But uh, my, my target is, my objective is that we should be able to have 25,000 trained people by end of one year okay. through close to 200 centers across the country. So on an average 100, 125 students per center. That is one. And uh, then in our two-year program, we, we share an opportunity with our students that we take them for industrial study tours internationally. We take our students... Sort of internship programs? Is no, it is not internship. It is study tour. Okay. It is a small seven nights, eight days kind of a week okay. study tour wherein we take students to Singapore or UK mm -hmm. depending upon uh, their choice and visa formalities. We take our students and help them interact with entrepreneurs and CXOs of digital companies there, digital marketing okay. companies there. Okay. You know, when I say that, uh, fine, there are 100,000 plus jobs available in India, hmm. but there are more than that jobs available overseas as well. Correct. And when I say outsourcing, I see a lot of potential over there. Over there, correct. I would want my students to be trained upon modules, trained upon the content, trained upon what is the need of overseas market. Mm -hmm. You know, even if you are able to fetch 25% of business from there, I'm talking about more than $150 billion business which is which is worth of Huge. spending yes it is it is 
So uh, we take our students there, we make them to interact with entrepreneurs and CXOs there so that they understand what is happening on, on overseas they platforms. They get a global exposure. Global so exposure, that's, that's right. So um, that is what we are we are targeting, that is what we are working for. That is what we are working day in, day out for, I would say. <laughs> okay. So it was, um, you know, nice talking to you. Thank you. I'll just wrap up here and this is Livia signing off. <laughs>